In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can become super creative by using the blending modes in Photoshop Elements 10. We have discussed blending modes in one of our previous tutorials, but this tutorial is going to be a lot easier and we are going to introduce the shape tools as well. The goal in this tutorial is to create this effect right here. So how do we do this? Well, it's super easy. Let's go back to our original picture. Then let's go to Enhance and convert your picture to black and white. We have different options here under the Adjust Intensity. I'm going to blow out this picture on purpose, so I'll move the red slider to the right and perhaps the green one just a little bit. Then I'm going to click OK. Next we are going to use our rectangle tool and simply draw four rectangles. You can duplicate them by holding the ALT key and then dragging the rectangle to the next spot and do the same thing for the bottom. Hold the shift key and select the last shape in your layer panel and then hit Control T or Command T if you are using a Mac and we are going to resize this entire box. Hit enter. The next thing I want to do is I want to arrange these boxes so that I know what I'm working with. So this box should be at the bottom. This box should be at the top. Bottom. Okay, we got it. Now we are going to set different colors to these boxes. Simply double click on it and then let's make this one maybe pink or purple. Oh, let's leave it at pink and then change the blending modes to multiply. Now let's go to the next box. We're going to make this box orange. Click OK and then change the blending mode to difference. Alright, now let's go to our third box. We'll make this one brown and change the blending mode to vivid light. And finally, the last box, we are going to make this box red and set it to linear burn. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to type some text in. So let's use our text tool, draw a box, and type something in. Once you have your text, we are going to change the shapes. And to do that, simply click on the shape that you want to change and then click Control T or Command T if you are using a Mac. And notice that this box is now outlined. Then I'm going to hold the Control key on my keyboard and notice that your cursor changes. This is going to allow you to move around your um, boxes. So move it around until you get a desired effect. Once you're happy with the alignment, you can hit the Enter key or simply click here. And if you want to change it again, just hit Control T or Command T if you are using a Mac. Hold the Control key on your keyboard and just drag the corners around. Let's go to the next one. And just keep doing this until you get that desired look that you have um, envisioned. And this is what I was able to come up with. So it's super easy. All that we had to do was convert our picture to black and white, blow out some highlights, and then create shape tools and um, set them to different colors and change the uh, blending mode. And that's really all that we had to do to create this artistic effect.